obviously uh, you were pretty disappointed straight after the match, but how are you sort of looking back at it now? You've had a few days to let it digest. Yeah, look, you know, I think I was pretty clear post-game that the, the performance was unacceptable and we need to be better as a footy club and you know, our players, our coaches and everyone involved knows, knows that and you know, our, our chairman backed that up you know, with pretty strong comments and, and comments that were warranted. You know, it's, uh, it wasn't acceptable and, and we need to do better. Do you have any sort of explanation, again, a couple of days later, to, for a performance like that? Because we saw you know, the, the previous three weeks where you, know, you looked like you were moving in the right direction. You, you probably should have beaten Brisbane and then to turn up a performance like that, it was almost what we saw last year. Yeah, it was. And that's, that's the disappointing thing. You know, last year was a very disappointing year and I think the performance, you know, certainly brought up that emotion of how disappointing that year was. And... Um, you know, looking back at it, you know, I'm not going to make excuses at all in terms of that performance. You know, as a club, we've sort of moved through that. Um, a lot of our games this year have been really competitive. We sort of got our season rolling, but the weekend just wasn't acceptable. Um, and we need to own that. We need to do something about it. And, you know, we get that opportunity tomorrow night. You touched on the comments from the, the chairman saying they were warranted they their goodie, but are they, are they helpful to the football department? Like, I feel like they're they're not that helpful for you guys. How, how do you feel about that? I think when the chairman speaks, you've got to listen. And, you know, it's, it's clear as a footy club that, you know, we want to do better. And, and Glenn comes from a, an enormous place of care. He wants our club to be great, as I do, as our players do, as everyone does. And um, we're working incredibly hard to do that. You know, we're, we're off the back of a really poor season. We're three and five this year. This season's well and truly alive. And I think right now what we're looking for is we're looking for people to thrive. We're looking for, for staff, for coaches, for players that really welcome this opportunity. You know, there's no better opportunity to deal with pressure. And as a club, that's where we've placed ourselves um, on, our, on our own doing. And we're the ones that will get ourselves out of it. Have his comments placed the pressure on you, Simon? So what was that? Have his comments placed additional pressure on you personally? Oh, look, I've spoken to Glenn at length um, and he's had nothing but support for, for myself. You know, I was employed to lead this footy club with a clear strategy, um, you know, to lead us to our next premiership. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm still very confident that we're going to be able to do that. And, um, you know, if that puts pressure on me, those comments, you know, I've got to accept that I take responsibility for our performance. And I know where we're at, you know, where... We're a club that had a really disappointing year. We're three and five, but this season's well alive. And, you know, for me personally, I just want to be at my best. I want to thrive in this environment. I want to thrive under this pressure and, and look forward to the next opportunity. Simon, who were, did he explain to you who the comments were directed to, towards? I think Glenn was speaking of an emotion that, you know, that supported what I thought, first and foremost, but I think what our supporters thought. Um, and on, as I said, on the back of of last year and its performances, that performance was symbolic of the way we played last year and that was something that was really disappointing because we hadn't seen that this year so far and that brought up a lot of emotion. I think Glenn just shared the emotion that one I had, one our players would also have and our supporters most importantly. So, um, you know, I don't think it was something that was surprising to anyone. Is there any recognition, though, Simon? I mean, the, your two worst performances of the year were against last year's Premier and the, and the side that's sitting top of the ladder this year after a four-day break. That maybe there's um, some explanation for for the, for the drop away. I think we're going to see games um, through this period where clubs have poor performances, um, but I'm not going to sit here and make excuses for our footy club for too long. Um, well, there has been too many excuses. Um, and some of it's reality and some of it's excuses. And um, right now, the Melbourne Footy Club need reality. We need to be better. We need to play better. We need to welcome that pressure. Um, but I'll keep saying it, this season's alive. You know, we're, we're right in the mix um, to perform at our best. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to, to dealing with that pressure and moving forward as a footy club. Do you back in the blokes that you backed in last week? Or do you, do you make even some, some big moves at selection? Oh, look, we'll make a few changes, um, a few that will be forced, but also a few on the back of some guys being a little bit sore. And that's just, um, you know, through this period, we need to be really smart with how we look after our players. Um, but I'll back our players all day long. You know, they're healthy, they're, they're ready to go. We've got this squad mentality. Um, we want to welcome and thrive under this sort of pressure. 
Um, and these guys are, are the guys who are going to take us forward. So I'll back these guys in all the way. Have you seen Max Gorn okay? Yeah, Gorn is fine. Um, Gorn is obviously a little bit sore and ginger post-game. Um, he takes an enormous load, but um, he'll be playing. You know, he, he trained strongly today and, um, you know, he's an important part of our game but also an important leader of our footy club. Have you rethought your thoughts last week or the previous week, whenever it was, about resting players during this period, knowing you've got another game on Sunday as well? Like, did you learn anything from the Port Adelaide game? I know you don't want to make excuses, but did you take anything from that physically? Yeah, we'll sit down post this game and have another look at it. You know, we, we managed Harley Bunnell. Um, we certainly won't be taking anyone in this week that's, that's you know, overly sore. Um, so we'll continue to look at that. We won't be reckless, but we'll certainly have a look at that strategy. We're going to take a really, uh, you know, a squad of 29 or 30 guys to Adelaide for a two-game block. Um, so, um, yeah, we'll have a look at that post tomorrow night. Aaron Vandenberg, straight back in. Yeah, Aaron Vandenberg will play. Um, you know, obviously had his, his surgery for his treat, uh, cheekbone. Um, you know, he's um, trained really solidly, you know, the last week and a half. So, um, you know, he's an important player to us and gives us some, some real hardness around contest areas, but also plays his role incredibly well. Simon, a broader football question. Um, uh, Chris Scott was talking about shorter quarters this morning and he expects maybe they might hang around in 2021. Have you had any... Thoughts on that or heard anything? I haven't heard anything or had many thoughts about that, to be honest. Um, you know, it, the quarters do go quick. Um, they do get away from you pretty quickly. So I think there's probably something in between would be around the right level for game time. Um, you know, but uh, I'm sure the powers to be are, are looking at that and, and will make the right decision. Rudy, I know overall your ball movement, those sorts of things, wouldn't have been as you wanted, but what did you make of the forward structure with the, the three tours with, with Tom McDonald coming back in? Yeah, look, we won't go with that again. Um, not for the short term anyway, not for this week. Um, so Tom won't play. Um, we'll go with the two tours and, um, you know, put some guys around him. You know, we functioned really well for the three weeks prior. It just didn't look like it was going to function in the right manner. And clearly it was a, a slightly dewy night. Um, but that's the sort of games that we're playing in at the moment, you know, all through this time of the year and obviously a lot of night games. So we'll stick with the two tools and, and go from there. Simon, just on Tom, he, he made his name as a defender and then was swung forward with uh, some success in your, your finals year, but it's dried up a bit since then. Any thoughts of moving him back? Oh, look, we moved him back last year. Um, you know, we're really clear with our footy team. Um, we want guys to execute their roles to a really high level. Um, unfortunately for Tom at this stage, he hasn't been able to do that for a period of time now. So we've got to work with Tom to get him back to his best. And you know, we see him as a forward for our footy club and that's where we'll keep him. Simon, well, just on the players this week, you, you talked about the message after the game. Have you seen enough in them this week um, in training? What have you to expect that turnaround tomorrow? Uh, we've got an incredibly proud group. Um, they know they've done the work. They've really they've got clarity around their role. Um, so you know they're looking forward to the opportunity. You know we're, we're a club that want to attack the game, and um, you know, we just can't wait to get back out there. You know we made some progression. We regressed badly in last week's game, and we get a chance to do something about it. So you know I think everyone at the footy club, the players, the coaches, you know everyone involved in the footy department, we we can't wait to to, uh, to play this week. Just another one on Tom, Simon. Now, last year, he obviously struggled for a fair bit of the year, but then seemed to be getting that form back just before he got injured again. What, what do you think is the issue? Is it just a confidence thing? Is, is something, something else? His body's not right? Yeah, look, it's a, it's a great question, Mark. You know, he had one game before he um, got injured where he kicked six goals against Carlton. Um, but there's been a fair few dry spells in between that time. So um, we're pretty clear for Tom of how we want him to play. You know, we need him to play like a big man, you know, compete aerially, both so aerially and at ground level. Um, and you know, we're going to keep working with him. You know, it's, um, he's an important player to us. He's an experienced player. But you know, I think Tom would be disappointed with his output in recent times and, and we need to get him to his best. Simon, Clayton Oliver had a bit of a rough game with uh, like exposure last week. Um, for a period there, he was much more a, 
uh, focused on handball and the percent, the balance of his game was handball. Do you encourage him to, to, to give it by hand a bit more and to get himself back into some form? I would just encourage uh, Clayton to play the game, make the decisions that you think right, execute as best you can and, and don't overthink it. You know, he's clearly putting a lot of pressure on himself um, you know, in, in, that, in that space. But you know, he's, a, he's a quality player, Clayton. We've seen him kick the ball incredibly well and um, you know, we're looking for him to do that again.